Well, I am so excited today, you guys. This is part of my, I guess I really want people to shop local, and this is one of my favorite local shops. It's within walking distance of my house. It's Mockingbird Manor. It's actually right across the street from where my husband used to have his office, and I love this place. This is different from some of the antique stores that we have visited in the past. It's a combination of both antiques and new stuff. It's called Mockingbird Manor. It's been here for probably 20 years. It's definitely my sister's favorite place to shop when she comes here. All sorts of different things. And it's really, it's kind of broken up into rooms because this has been a re, a rethought out retail space. So some of these used to be duplexes. I'm gonna take you into a back, a back building that used to be duplexes. So it's really quirky and fun. The staging is beautiful. Now when I come here, I shop as much for ideas as I do for merchandise. Today I'm shopping for some gifts. But I get so many great ideas, you guys, when I come here. And actually, the four paintings that are in my bedroom, um, Stuart, let's insert a picture of those here. I got at Mockingbird Manor. So I've gotten a number of things for my own home here in addition to jewelry and other stuff. So let's go in. And by the way, if you guys are coming to Oklahoma City or you're here local, you don't want to miss this place. It is just really incredible. So let's go in. This, when you come in, this is just a taste of what's to come. This whole front area, it's got a brick floor. It's staged just beautifully. Obviously, it's been decorated for Christmas, but in uh, non-traditional Christmas colors. So if you're looking for um, interior design ideas or Christmas ideas and color palettes to use, this is just absolutely beautiful. And I really wish you guys could smell it. They've got wonderful, those nest candles here that smell unbelievable. I may have to put that on a Christmas list for myself this year, but this whole area is just beautifully, beautifully done. Lots of white, turquoises, green, punctuations of black, and there's great stocking stuffer ideas. There's, um, oh, lots of blue and white here. So if you're one of those that is a real aficionado of blue and white, definitely you will want to examine each individual room here because it's really, really charming. Look at this Christmas tree, all decorated in blue and white ornaments. So if that is your look, this is a spot you don't want to miss. Look at all of the different porcelain pieces and then really great artwork here. So if, if your objective is to hunt down some things for wall hangings, then definitely this is a place to get some very, very unique items. And each room is styled differently, has each room probably has a different vendor. And the, again, there's an infusion of new stuff with old things. So it's, it's eclectic, it's wonderful, and there's a great, idea, great ideas for not only gift shopping for others, but also gift shopping for yourself. Look at these lamps, aren't they incredible? Okay, Stuart, I want to come over here. Look at this. I love, this is one of my favorite things here. Isn't this stocking darling? So this is, let me see. This is, I recall, is at a really, yeah, this is only $20. And I think this is absolutely a great bargain. I love these pom-poms on it. And if you're a knitter, wouldn't this be a great idea to take? This is even lined. I think that's adorable, and I would be very tempted if someone in my family's name began with a P, I would be very tempted to snatch this up. So this is Jan Janice? Janice. Janice, am I right? Janice has been here, you've worked here with Liz for? Well, I've been here since day one. Since day one, and you and I know this has been open 20? 18. 18 years, okay, I knew it was about? Years. It was 18 in November. Okay, and like I say, you guys, I love this place because it is literally within walking distance of That's me. <laughs> so, and another great thing, look at this wonderful space of blue and white is your thing, but what I love, Janice, about what you guys do is it's always a fresh experience when you come because right. 
everything is constantly, Liz and I were Changing. talking about yeah. this. Every yeah. day we get something different. Every day it changes, it looks completely different. And you know, we have so many, we have different people, so different personalities. And yeah. It's a good mix. It really is a good mix. But again, like I say, I come in here often and every time I come in, it looks like a brand new place. Yeah, it's very, it's very tempting. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a dangerous location. Look at that fabulous mirror. I've got my eye on that fabulous mirror over there. And I, like I say, the artwork and its placement, you get great ideas for framing, for staging things, for creating different vignettes. Really wonderful. So I love this, I love this idea. This is one idea I'm stealing right here. And I wanna look, I'm gonna scooch over here, Stuart. I love anything that is bamboo or speaks to kind of like campaign furniture. And I love the way this tray is styled with these glasses. And I've actually got a set of glasses that I just bought myself like this that's got the same kind of cane work on it. And I am going to do this. I'm just gonna put it on a mirrored, on a mirrored tray. And let's see, this whole set, set of six glasses is $90 but as a really special gift for, some, for someone that would be incredible. Ginger jars, look at these fabulous ginger dar, jars. They, they come in different colors. And again, what I like about this place is they use, it's staged for Christmas, but in non-traditional colors. So whatever your color flavor is, your color palette is, there are ideas that you can steal from here. I just love coming in here. And this is all the front area. This face is Western. Great, great windows. And it also gives me ideas when I come here about how they have staged furniture and styling in front of their windows and how effective that is. And because they change things so often, I'm constantly getting new ideas. So another thing that always tickles me when I come in these kind of stores, look at this beautiful chandelier. I just love it. And this is identical or almost identical to the one that I've got in my dining room. So this tells me this is about the same vintage. Now mine doesn't have crystals hanging on it, but if I wanted to convert what I had and get a different look, I could hang crystals off of it. So I always get a kick when I see something that is of the same history and, his, and historical integrity of my home. When I see something like that, it gives me ideas on how they have used things and how I might refresh what I already have. Now let's go into this next room. So if these, this is a, another thing that I love about this place, great things, they really know what trends are and so they really inject a lot of that into a lot of their spaces. So for example, these are not old, but they are, they're based on an old fashioned concept, these feather trees and glitter trees, but they have a lot of these here and these are at a really good price point. So. I have seen these at a far, far more expensive price point at other locations. So that one is 35, this one is 25, and again, these are investment pieces that you'd have for a while. And then they've got them styled with some just different little bottle brush, brush trees. Now, this one is just $8.95, but if you already have some that maybe or inexpensive that you got at a craft store or something, it would be easy to spray paint these, put some glitter on them and replicate these. And then you have this wonderful glittery little forest that brings sparkle, joy, and light and airiness into your Christmas decor. And I really like that. Again, if you're into blue and white, this is, this is really, really wonderful. So this tickles me. I see something here. Um, and I'm sure if any of you know what this is or what the purpose of these were, please let me know. But this shows that it's an antique, $179. And I've got something very, very similar at home that I thrifted that looks almost identical to that that I got at, at a thrift store for maybe $10. So that tells me also the value of maybe some things that I already have. So this is my question of the day. I have not, I have not forgotten about it. My question of the day is, 
when you shop at places like this, are you primarily shopping for merchandise for yourself, for interior styling? Are you shopping this time of year for gifts or, or get gifts for yourself? Or are you shopping for ideas? Are you shopping for interesting novel ways to style your home both for the both for the holidays and year round so that's my question of the day when you visit these kind of stores what is your objective another thing that they really concentrate on here that i love so much is really beautiful natural elements and natural decor so the, they've got an incredible collection of agates and stones uh, corals, just again that kind of nature inspired, garden inspired decor that I like so, so much. And my takeaway here, if I had a beach home or if I had any kind of, of home that was in a, maybe a tropical environment, a really warm weather environment, look at how beautiful these white coral pieces look against this color in this cabinet. Now this is an old cabinet and look at how they have painted the interior with kind of a semi-gloss coral color to accentuate and highlight these beautiful white corals. What a great idea to steal. And I would never have thought to put this color against this color of wood and just a brilliant, a brilliant idea. Likewise, Stuart, if you very carefully, we're gonna, it, a lot of these spaces are kind of tight, so we're trying to be very respectful of these areas and the shoppers that are here today. But look at this cabinet, they've painted this kind of Scandinavian or French gray. And as I said, they've also got jewelry here, some of it's new, some of it's antique, but really beautiful jewelry pieces. And over the years, I have purchased lots of jewelry here. And in, in every area, I love the way that there is this, this juxtaposition of really whimsical items like this, and then kind of stayed items. Now here's another idea. Look here, okay, and this is um, a great idea that anyone could replicate where they have one of these canisters and they have just filled it with Christmas ornaments and Christmas baubles. And you've seen this idea probably in magazines and such, but sometimes I'll see a great idea and I forget it. So this reinforces those kind of design tips and decor tips in my mind. I also love, there's lots of gourd vases and gourd inspired lamps and such here. I love that. Ooh, and I was in the other day, Stuart, and I did not see this lamp here. And I really like this lamp. So just layers upon layers upon layers of staging and merchandise. Okay, here, look, I, and the, the other important tip when you come in places like this, I was talking about this with the owner the other day. You wanna look up, you wanna look mid and eye level, and you wanna look down. And every time you revisit one of these spaces and you wander back into these rooms, you will see something different. Okay, these are really great botanical prints. And guess who has these in her basement right now? framed differently and in a way that isn't quite as dramatic as this. So here's another takeaway. Okay, I already have some of these that I bought for a song many, many years ago. And my takeaway for this is I could refresh and reimagine them by just framing them differently. So that's a good idea. Another idea I'd like to steal from locations like this is ways to reupholster furniture. So look at how beautifully this has been reupholstered. This old chair has been reupholstered in this highly textured blue fabric. Love this. This would be great in a powdered room, in a powder room or a formal living room. They also have, okay, these are really a great price point, you guys. Look at these fabulous beads. So these are small aqua African beads. 
These would be great as jewelry, but they would also be beautiful just in a bowl or something as just a unique kind of biblo that sits around. I love the color of this, just love, love this. And I love the fact that they're African. So I wonder what area of Africa. And a great old jewelry chest, really fun. There's just so much to, there's just so, so much to see. Okay, so I showed you the other day, I think, or maybe I haven't showed you yet, but I have a number of these little felt <laughs> Christmas ornaments that have been given to me. And as I've been going through a lot of my Christmas ornaments, I have gotten rid of a number of them. But these are really, really special. They remind me of a Christmas story that I used to read to my boys when they were little. And I think these are just darling. And if I had grandchildren, well, I may, one day I will, hopefully. So I may have to start adding to this collection. They're soft and fuzzy and they're really, really dear. And these would make great gifts if you wanted to start a collection for someone. These would make a really sweet housewarming gift. Would be really cute hanging on a stocking. And the way they've got assortments of their, their, so their chosen color palette and they've got all sorts of baubles like that brown and turquoise together. Isn't that just rich? Looks very elevated, very expensive. So coming out in here, this is just another room contiguous. Okay, here's a great idea. Look at how, this is a basic lamp, but look at how they've elevated it with this really mod 60s, 70s inspired lampshade. You could even paint a lampshade like this if you were more talented with a paintbrush than I. I think that's really fun. Look at this interesting lampshade. So whatever your decor style, whether it's traditional, whether it's um, contemporary, there is something for everyone in this store. There's also things for your garden, so over here. And by the way, Stuart, your mom wants to come here and do some shopping. She told me that, so look at these. These are just wonderful. And they have four of these. So if you are looking for something really special to adorn a brick wall or posts in your garden, pillars, pilasters in your garden, this would be, this would be really fabulous. But again, look here, this is a wonderful Pendleton blanket. I love, love this. This is probably pretty pricey. 145 but that would be a great buy so they've got stuff even that's southwest inspired some more fabulous lamps over here i really highly encourage you guys if you come to oklahoma city you really need to come to this shop the other thing that i do here a lot is i might come in and spy some things that i like and typically after Christmas, they have a great after Christmas sale. So sometimes I'll come in and if whatever I wanted is still here, I'll look to see if, it's, if the price has been reduced. I also make my own Christmas gift list of things that I might want from here and I can give it to hubs or my kids. And the nice thing is we're shopping local and it's just right around the corner from me. Well, there is old and new everywhere, just like this wonderful, nostalgic Merry Christmas banner. I loved this. This is an area from Whitney English, who I think is kind of a local businesswoman here. Really great stuff, great earrings, great styling. If you collect brown transfer wear, there's brown transfer wear there. Stuart, if you would peek into that other room right there, if you are into lots of antique and old Christmas things, my goodness, you will go crazy in that room. All sorts of wonderful things. Um, this has lots of new things. There's more candles. Um, how about this? Is this not just great? I love this. If I had a, for a kid's room, this would be absolutely darling. And if you look over into that room, Stuart, you can see, look at the, look at the giraffe 
and the zebra mounted soft heads for a kid's room along with all of those Christmas decorations and everything. Very, very fun. If you wanted to deck out a Christmas tree in pom-poms, you could do this. That is just a very, very fun thing. If you know how to make pom-poms, then that would be a great idea for you to replicate. And Stuart, I see something right here. You can tell Jamie, I love this bag. I love this bag and it's not at a bad price. Now, when I come into places like this that have antiques and, and such, I know some people are bargainers and some people aren't. I typically never bargain in places that are close to my home because they're local shops that I really, really want to support. Obviously, they probably don't bargain on new merchandise, but typically I am, I am happy to pay full price because I know that I am contributing to a local, to my community and to a local business so this has all sorts of fun stuff personal little things I think this is darling look at this old bag so also if you are into vintage clothing if you're into vintage gloves and headwear then you can also find that kind of stuff here and Stuart if you very gingerly step in here you see what I mean and because this was a home, like they have things hanging in the closet. Really great. It's, it's so fun to get just a huge jolt of nostalgia when you come here. And we can do just kind of a brief, we won't spend a lot of time in this room, but you can get just a brief glimpse of all of the different kinds of things that they have here. There's just so much stuff. And by the way, this place also has a downstairs and it has two up door, upstairs locations here. And then there's even a second building. I think I told you that I was really kind of a little bit fascinated with these tinsel trees. I know they're popular right now, but look at this one. It's in this plum color. And that is one of the colors that I use in my office upstairs. And this is just $22. And I would have this every year. And it might make working in my office a little bit more fun. Stuart, what do you think? Do I need this? Okay, this shall be mine. I may or may not decorate it, but look at that up close. Because really, doesn't everybody need a purple Christmas tree? So we've come upstairs now and there's different types of items up here. There's lots of silver plate and brass, lots of candlesticks. If you wanted to do a whole congregation of candlesticks, love those candelabras that would speak to a lot of different types of interior decor styles and then come around in here Stuart because this is this is interesting one of the like I say one of the things that I always look for when I come here or at least this time when I'm looking at are things like mirrors I'm looking at lamps and light fixtures and there's just a whole different assortment of stuff up here we've got more pastel colors pastel trees they also typically have really great pillows here, I have noticed. And these are all, typically most of them are down filled in the kind of pillows that I like that are real squishy. This is an absolutely incredible trough, wooden trough here. And as I said, I'm kind of really into these little trees and I think these are absolutely adorable, aren't they, Stuart? This would be cute on a bar or something. I think these are really, really dear and very nostalgic. So if you want just a real infusion of nostalgia in your life, then you guys want to come to Mockingbird Manor because it's really, really fun. So we'll kind of wrap this up today, this first round, and then in the next round, I'll show you some more great ideas and some things that I might be bringing home with me. 
So here is my outfit for today, my shopping local, shopping about Western Avenue, just about a block from where I live. My sunglasses are from Target. My earrings are one of my favorites for the season. These are part of that Atrios line of tiled jewelry, tiled inspired. We'll try to put a link, love these. These are part of my, my Christmas gift list recommendations. Um, my blouse is just a sleeveless white blouse. I think it's J crew this is definitely j crew and this is thrifted you guys i love these kind of these jackets that are kind of scrunched up and intentionally kind of wrinkled i love this because it's light and it's perfect for the weather today which is simply way too warm i think it's it's got to be around 70 don't you think stewart so a light jacket like this is good. Um, my necklace is from Madewell. It's a Lariat necklace. Um, I've just got an assemblage of bracelets, some of which belong to my mother-in-law, others just a smorgasbord of bracelets. Um, my belt came from Nordstrom Rack. My britches are from H&M, high-waisted jeans, and let's see, my booties. I can't really remember where these booties are from. I've had them for many, many years, black booties. So did I forget anything, Stuart? I don't think so, but like I say, this was thrifted from Goodwill, so got, got a great deal on it. So there you go, there's my outfit du jour.